What's up guys, King of the North here, back with some more Graveyard Keeper. Last episode, we talked to Miss Charm, also met the Merchant, and talked to York, who was a ghost, who is a ghost from the graveyard. Right now we are going to build our furnace. Still need one more stone piece. I think I was pickaxing at something up here. Yeah. As I said, the green day is Snake's Day. We cannot reach him currently. So there's our fuel sources we can use. We can use wooden sticks, chopped up wood, or coal. We can make iron ignits. We just need the iron deposit. Not sure where this donkey is. So what else can we build at the base? look at some of the other technologies here. Like I said, I do want to be careful with how I spend these points. Especially blue ones later on, they're a little bit harder to come by. These actually might be good gets. Yeah, I'm going to grab these. Just because some of these body parts that we can remove, we can remove them early on. Will help us in the long run. Do need to keep working at cleaning up a bit so we can grind out a little bit of experience. As you see, we're, we're still getting something for digging up these little bushes. We'll end up throwing these resources that we're gathering into the chests. When we build something at the blueprint workbench station thing, it will automatically pull resources out of chests for us. Sometimes you'll see these trees, they have a bee's nest in them. Uh, once we have the ability to farm honey, gather those. I'm gonna break these up. I think we get wood pieces out of them or just metal scrap. This can be broken down into iron ingots as well. A glitch there. So if my memory serves me correctly, we can build beehives there. fire pit there is for cooking out in the outdoors. I do want to check the graveyard again real fast. I don't think there's anything else to dig up or cut out of there. The left side is a bit of a mess, but we can't do anything with that until we progress through the story a little bit. This tree stays here for a while, or forever maybe. I'll fill this in just so it's... Oh, I guess I need to put a body in there. Okay. Keep digging up these. It's just because it's a source of wood, and it's actually a very good source of XP because it gives us one red and one green. I believe that red XP is something that, it's the most common one, but it's something that's primarily obtained from crafting. Green is gathering, and blue is more for research and science. Uh, the rarity comes in that order.
The wooden sticks, however, I'm not going to use as a fuel source outside here. Okay, our shovel broke. Good thing we got that whetstone from the blacksmith in the first episode. Might have enough energy to repair this. Nope. Let's go to sleep. Actually drives me nuts. It's hard to see. I think I was digging this up, right? Yep. So this is a new day. I believe we're going to meet a new NPC. So these logs, if you keep tapping the pickup button, you don't even have to push it that fast. Just occasionally, you can pick one up and slide the other just keeps you from making multiple trips. You can kind of plan out your, your routes too. And then digging up one, running it back. Push this all the way up. It's easier to push from this angle obviously because there's a larger hitbox. Run into running from the sides, it gets a little tricky, you can slide off, but that's why you know you get tap the A button. And uh, tapping the A button causes you to put down the one that you're currently holding and it places it directly in front of you, but it picks up the one that was in front of you, so it just keeps re re resetting the location of the log. But it is good to have a stockpile of wood going, and usually it's best to. Use your downtime in gathering some things and making sure you have an ample supply of resources. So when you do need to build something, have an Inquisitor. Just seen the Inquisitor right nearby, going up the path to Witch Hill. I'm sorry, he'll kill me, or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on that hill that will help me get home. So let's check out the hill. Everything is ready, sure. Good. Were there any problems? No monitor, except. There is this strange fella snooping. Oh, there he is. Halt. <laughs> guys, calm down. I live at the graveyard. He calls us guides. But he's a cultist for certain. I'm the graveyard keeper. I know the... Uh, I'm the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can, ask me, you can ask any of the villagers about me. You're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? Agree. It would be my honor. How did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Well, we were told to not say anything about the other world, so we'll dodge. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something. And I'll find out. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded. And there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is open again, and it's especially auspicious time. The dark cold is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years. And it's only the beginning. Burn the witch. 
Burn. Light the fire. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Long live the Great Inquisitor. Hurrah. Hurrah. So, you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside the hill, the graveyard. That's right. Yes. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here in the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves after death. If you're new here, you might notice something unusual. Free to be his friend? Sure, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath. Not a day of sweating the minor details. If you talk to me next that day, or any other that day, I like to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Alright, so we've introduced ourselves to the Inquisitor. The next day is the Crescent Moon. So we will be heading to the lighthouse to meet the astrologer. But we have some things to take care of first, like grinding out a little bit more XP, gathering some resources. I'm also not sure why we haven't gotten another body. I believe that rack is full. Increase yard speed. All right, need some hefty materials for that still. I think he only wants, yeah, he just wants the wine. Blah, blah, blah. Confused as to why I can't get more bodies just yet. I want to go through the things here. All right, this is a, this is a need. Uh, I definitely want to get some improved tools. Probably grab stone working as well so we could break up and get slabs of stone but I don't know if this is impeding this could be keeping me from getting bodies we'll grab that let's see what we need to make the first anvil all right so we need two billets and one part which I cannot make yet or can I needs 10 scrap all right so we can't do that just yet let's go down here I know we can break up these broken containers down here and get some parts hopefully we'll get all right so we got simple iron parts that's a good get Simple and tasty recipe, okay. 
Flower. 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 Another one last one here. Alright, so let's... Let's put the wood in here, along with the flower. I'm going to use that recipe. I'm actually going to throw this flesh in here. Always hit the wrong buttons. I'll use that real fast. Okay. Baked mushrooms. We have baked apple. This is a baked apple. I'm not sure I understand that. Anyway. Wooden anvil, I need two billets. I can make four out of this. parts from this and I thought we were gonna actually be able to do more with that okay so we can craft more parts I just need to be able to get iron or I actually know where some is it's north just above our house it's a limited resource until we get to another area which we can get slabs one to go to bed so I can get up early. We do have a bit of a hike to make here. So we can get to the astrologer. Also want to stop at the tavern on the way there. This is always open to us now, so we can go up on which hill. We can't go all the way up because there are guards up there that will stop us just to question us. Too suspicious still to the Inquisitor, so we, we gotta build up some trust. But I'm, I'm a little confused as to why I haven't gotten more bodies, so I'm not sure if I need to progress something else through that horse here. Ask about the garden. Found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the garden? was seized by the merchant to cover some debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Keep listening. That's great. Good. You still need to talk to the merchant, which I missed. Damn it. Not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with <laughs> Sure, I'll... He comes to trade with the locals every... that day. He owns the barn south of the tavern. Trade. There's nothing to trade. I do want to try to get to this as soon as possible. The teleport stone will be really helpful for us. And will also contribute to unlocking the other tiers that he offers. I know early on this game did have quite a few bugs. I'm hoping that most of those are worked out, and I'm not currently experiencing one right now. Not getting bodies. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And I know what truly matters. What? You think he can understand? No. Dig. He won't because he can't see. Okay, and I'll tell him a little- I'll tell him a sweet lie. So is he talking? I guess he's talking to himself. The only thing that matters peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. I think his beard is wrapped around his shoulder. Weird. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going. Now, now I 
was trying. Uh, I guess I can't gather from the trees yet, even though there's it's clear. Oh, I can this one. So even though there's clearly apples on the ground. Damn it! One up here at least. Just because I believe these give some energy. So if I'm out doing something, I can eat, pop a couple of those, get some energy back. All right. So this is the astrologer. Hi. Are you the astrologer? I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead end world. <laughs> I'm the new uh, I'm the new graveyard keeper. It seems I need your help. <laughs> Everyone needs something except me. Knowledge brings only sadness. <laughs> you seem pretty happy. Just call me an idiot. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. Why? Rubs his beard. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid Inquisitor's law? Talking one, Gary? He's kind of my friend. I don't think it would. I don't, I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any old dead buck. Alright, so I gotta pull a skull out of someone's head. Let's go. Holy mackerel, boy. Look like someone who desires to be part, be a part of the magic world of... Fishing. I don't know much about fishing. Lucky you. I know a whole lot about fishing. It's so relaxing and it can be... Plus, fish are really tasty. Sounds great, I'm in. More choice, my boy. I'll provide you with everything you need and teach you how to cook fish. Alright. Actually, I should probably talk to him. I think if we do something for him, he gives us a fishing rod. Can he give us a recipe here? I always just grill it. Personally, I like to slice it and fry it. the slice it oil. Then just pop fish sticks in your mouth. Yeah. Anyone else? When you eat fish, you start to think like a fish. All good fishermen always eat a lot of fish. Well, that would make sense, right? If they're good at fishing, they would probably be able to eat more fish. All I need is a rod. You have one you can give me? That I do. I have an old one, but... I'm not just handing it over as a gift. I'll ask you to bring me some moss. They're good as bait, but you can only catch them at night. Hardly make out anything when it's dark. I'm trying to remember how to get those. I think uh, you gotta gather from flowers on the ground like this at nighttime. I think. Well, we got a little bit of a hike back. The next holy day is coming up. And I haven't gotten a single body. So I'm wondering if the donkey is stuck. I thought I was supposed to get a body every day from him. Go down here and talk to the blacksmith. Make sure he doesn't have something hung up. Okay, so I can trade with Creswold. I don't want to, but I can. I know we get a little bit of a shortcut later on. Actually, over here. I have to clear up the tunnels below the house in order to access that. Down here is the farm. I believe I could buy seeds and start growing crops. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. <laughs> Even if it's drugs or magic elixirs. I'm just looking around. I don't know what's happening. But everyone is telling me I'm a keeper. I'm a graveyard keeper. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, then you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud. I don't like it. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 
now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. All right. Can you tell me about farming? Is there anything special I need to know to be a good farmer? You need to know how to fertilize the soil and be ready to work hard. Honestly, you don't look like you don't look much like a farmer. So you're better off buying from a professional like me. Even somebody like you could cook something nice with my veg. Oh, gee, thanks. Slices of beets? I don't think that's much cooking. Anyway, we are going to grab some of these carrot seeds. I believe we need four carrot seeds per lot that we put down. You can't just plant one seed and expect carrots to grow. It's got to be groups of four. So go up here. This is our garden. Shit, I have to repair this. Claim property. Oh, I just have to this garden bed thing here. Here. And then when the merchant shows up again, we'll have to talk to him. Making sure that it's okay that we're already using the land. <laughs> Alright. So we got two patches of carrots growing, but 26 minutes. I think this is a good spot to call this an episode, guys. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.